good morning ip students today our topic is mysql aggregate function and as you know that this is a revision part of uh, mysql and in this lecture we are going to discuss about aggregate function especially count function so first of all what is an aggregate function aggregate function is a function where the value of a multiple rows are grouped together to form a single summary value and uh, we know that aggregate function are used with group by clause and uh, they are basically used to summarize the report or summarize the result in uh, according to the need uh, according to the need in a query so there are some few various aggregate functions such as a count function sum function abj for average min for minimum value and max is uh, used for maximum so let us start with count function as the name suggests count so it basically counts the number of records so mysql count function is used to return the count of an expression so it is used to return the count of an expression and number of count rows count or record counts it basically returns the number of records according to our need or according to the condition specified in a query and it allows us to count all rows or only some rows of the table that matches a specified condition so whatever be the condition specified in a query it actually count all these rows or records in a table and it is a type of aggregate functions as we just discussed in this video that aggregate function is a function where the value of multiple rows are grouped together so it may be asked in examination that what do you mean by aggregate function and what are the different types of aggregate functions so aggregate function is nothing but only the function where the value of multiple rows are grouped together and different aggregate functions are grouped together to form a single summary value and various aggregate functions are count sum average min max so count is one of them and it allows to count all the rows as the name suggests count so it al it basically allow us to count all rows or only some rows according to the condition specified next is the type of aggreg aggregate function as we know and the one of the most important thing about the count function is that it returns type is big int so it returns big int value and uh, last important point regarding to the count function is that this function returns zero if it does not find any matching value so the role of the count function is to count the number of rows or records and if no records are found according to the condition specified then it basically returns zero to us next uh, we can use the count function in three forms which are explained below count star count expression and count distance according according to our need we can use one out of out of three most of the time we use count star but count expression and count distance are also used so count star function this function uses the select statement to return the count of rows in a result set the result set contain all null non null null and duplicate values so basically if a record if a table contain different values they may be no non null or they may be null or even they may be duplicate rows they count all of them all of them they, they count all of them even the values are duplicated even the rows are null even the values are null so it doesn't affect it count all of them that is the rule of count star function so whenever you put asterisk mark uh, within the parenthesis sign of count then it simply means that it count everything each and everything next is count expression function this function returns the result set without containing null rows as the result of an expression so difference between count expression and count asterisk function is that where count asterisk function returns all values uh, which are related to non null null or even the duplicate values but in case of count expression it is not so the count expression function return the result set without containing null rows 
those rows which contain null values are not considered in count expression function. So that is the basic difference between count ST function and count expression function. Next is count distinct expression functions. So this function returns the count of distinct rows without containing null value as a result of the expression. So if there is a duplication of records in a table, then count distinct expression basically count distinct operation. That means uh, our duplicate values are not allowed or only count only a single time. If there are five duplicate values, then it counts only a one. When we use distinct keyword, distinct is a keyword and distinct means uh, unique. So basically, uh, every unique value is already count is uh, every unique value is count only. So no duplicate values are allowed when distinct clause distinct keyword is used with expressions. So now the difference is uh, I think very much clear to all of you. Count ST function it count everything whether the value is null or not null or duplicate. It count each and everything. It counts the number of the records, whether it contain null or whether it contain not null or whether it contain duplicate value or whether it can don't, don't contain duplicate value. It 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 count each and everything. So asterisk marks means whenever you mark an asterisk sign within the count function, uh, within the parenthesis of the uh, count function, it simply means that it uh, count each and everything. It doesn't affect that value is null or not null or duplicate. It doesn't affect uh, on the counting. Next is count expression function. Count expression function just count the thing, but not considered any null value. So if we want to know if, if we don't want to consider null value, then just we write count expression function and we write an expression within the parenthesis of, of the count function, and it just returns us uh, all those that have no null value. And then if we want to remove the duplicate value and just count it only a single time. For example, in a class, uh, there are 50 students. Uh, in which uh, two students have same name then if we use a count distinct expression then it gives us a 49 records it gives the value of 49 and why it gives a 49 value because duplicate values are considered as a single value so count distinct functions used for that purpose so the idea is very simple whenever you mark asterisk function within the count within the uh, within the parenthesis of uh, within the parenthesis it it simply means that it count each and everything whether the value is null or not null and whenever you count just expression functions then it uh, count um, it, uh, it don't count null value it doesn't count uh, and uh, third important thing when whenever you just write count distinct expression so just is remove the duplicate values and count sing as a single value that is the basic difference between these uh, between uh, these count test count expression and count distinct and distinct expression and according to the need according to the circumstances uh, or whatever or the requirement we use different types of count functions in mysql next that is syntax of count function How we can count? First of all, aggregate function should always be used with select statement as you see here. That is a select statement. So as you see here, the select statement is there. And with select statement here we'll just write count and then aggregate expression and then from table in this is a simple select statement but the only difference is that we here use count function and then if there is a condition then it count according to that condition whatever is specified with select statement or uh, there may be more than one conditions also um, we can separate uh, if there, uh, there are more than one condition then we can separate it uh, by end or all, uh, by end and or operators so parameter explained here aggregate function it is it, it specifies the columns of the expression whose non null values can be counted here as i told you earlier that uh, when you count just pass asterisk sign within parenthesis that it simply means that it count each and everything it count each record whether the values are duplicated or not whether the value is null or not null it count each and everything but when we pass it aggregate expression that it uh, doesn't then it count only the value which uh, which are not null then table name 
it is specified the table from where you want to retrieve the records and there must be at least one table listed in the form clause uh, so there at least one table if there are more than one tables then they yeah, it count to the record from both of the table or uh, uh, all the tables which are giving after from table names and third is where condition it is specified it is optional it is specified the condition that must be fulfilled for the records to be selected if the condition is given here according to that record will be selected if there is no condition at all then uh, rec all records will be selected in that case so where clause is basically used to give the condition here if the condition is given then counting is according to that condition and if uh, the, there is no condition at all then it just simply counts the total number of records whatever you might mention in the uh, parenthesis parenthesis if we start that it count each and everything if there is the aggregate function then it does it uh, count only uh, not null values and if uh, we just uh, write to count distinct then it remove duplicate values also not null obviously not null and duplicate values so that is the syntax of a count function next there is an example here and my sql there is a table employee already created and uh, as we can see that uh, these are the different attributes of table employee id employee name employee age city and income and these are the records 101102103104105106107108 and we can easily see that total number of records here are eight records sir. and uh, um, in curves one and uh, there's uh, no duplicate value at all I think as far as employee ID it is a unique employee name is also unique employee age where, where there are some duplicate values as you can see that 32 is here and 32 is again here and city city is a uh, you can see that California here appears two times and income and uh, income is a uh, unique so no duplication values so some column have uh, duplicate values but some are unique at all so this is a database of employee record which have five attributes I employ ID employee name employee city and income and total number of eight records here now if you want to count uh, these records so let us see what happens always remember that the name of the and uh, name of the table is employee here the table name is employee and you can see here if you just write select count employee name from employee then let us check whether the, there is a duplication of name here or not you can see that there is no duplication of record here so when you write select count employees from employees then total number eight records will be returned by mysql and uh, here you can see another thing that uh, name of the column is count emp underscore name so this is a column name also if you give uh, it as a, another name then uh, what is then just write after that statement space as column name but suppose the column name is a uh, um, e, emp that is a column name emp count empc emp underscore c so here the this name appears here so it will provide you a duplicate name it will provide, provide you alternative name for that most of the time we use it but it is not mandatory so if you don't write then the column name will be this as it appears and uh, there is no duplication of records here even if the, there is a duplication of records uh, since we don't uh, write a distinct clause so it again in this case will be uh, returned 8 
if we um, write distinct emp underscore name only then it uh, check uh, it will check that whether there is a duplication of records or not in this case there is a no duplication of records so in both of the cases answer will be eight and also there is a no null value at all so answer will be eight for all the three cases whether we write at strict mark whether we write emp underscore name or whether we write distinct emp underscore name now i think it is clear to all of you so let us take another slide execute the following statement that returns all rows from the employee table and where clause specify the rows whose values in this column emp underscore age is greater than 32 here uh, two things are added first of all condition is given second thing here we use asterisk sign so what does this mean this simply means that when we write just count as a star that that means that it count each and everything each and every record whether the values are null or not null whether they are duplication of records or not duplication of values or not it just count each and everything so that is clear now condition where employee age is 32 so it count only the those records where employee age is greater than 32 so let us check it what happens let us check it employee age is greater than 32 here this will not consider this also is not considered 40 is considered 35 is considered 32 is not considered here next 45 is considered 35 is considered and 40 is considered so total there are five reports i think yes so five will be the answer and here is the column name you can easily see that next this statement uses a count distinct expression count distinct expression function that counts are not non-null distinct rows in the column non-null and distinct rows in the column it is explained it is already explained in this lecture that whenever we put distinct expression distinct clause within the parenthesis sign and after that give it expression so just it just count all distinct rows so no duplication value, no duplicate values are allowed and also not none values are also not allowed not no, null values are not not allowed also so all it considered only not null values so let us check and uh, what uh, what do you want to check here employee age so in terms of employee age no null values is no null value is not considered and second thing no duplicate value is considered so let us check it that whether there is a duplication of records in the table or not you can easily say, see that 32 is a duplicate and 32 actually comes here in three times so it will count only a single time that means one and then after 35 35 is also here at two times so it is also counted sing considered as a single time one and then 40 40 is also here two times so it is already it is also counted as a one and then 45 45 is appears here only one so it is also counted as a one so total number of uh, distinct records here are four four so let us check what is the output in this case this is the output yes and this is the column name as we give no alternative name here so this is the default column name here my sql count function with group by clause this is very important we discuss already group by clause and we have different count functions are already discussed different types of count functions are already discussed so let us take an example here and uh, we can also use a count function with a group by clause that returns the count of the element in each group for example the following statement is the number of the employees in each city always remember that uh, most of the time aggregate functions use uh, most of the time group by clause use aggregate functions and uh, out of this uh, most of the time count functions is used so let us see what happens after the execution of that statement select employee name and city so there are now here 
three columns for it. Employee name will be there, city will be there, and count staff will be there. And then from employee, employee is the name of table, and group by city. So group by city here, group by clause is used. So actually, data is grouped according to the city. And so it count the front employee's name belongs to different cities, and the number of employees belong to different cities are grouped and their counting is marked against them let us see it first of all let us take a main table this is a this is our table here and you can see that uh, is there is a any duplication of records and uh, duplication of values in city here you can see that florida comes here two times and so Florida is considered as a one and against the Florida the person are counted here so the person are counted here are Obama and uh, Maclum here so as uh, in case of California again you can see that California there are two persons Adam and Mark there are two person and New York and the only a single person is there Peter and uh, Arizona Donald is there and Alaska Ken is there and Georgia Lincoln is there so these cities are written when we execute this query then uh, they appear only a single time and against this city values the number of employees will be counted here so let us check what is the output okay when we write select employee name city count the star from employees then employee name will be there city will be there and the count star is also there and then mark california and the count star is 2 here and obama florida count star is again 2 here because you can see that in florida and in california so you can see here florida this is uh, Florida, Florida. There are two person, and uh, California again. There are two person. So for these two city, it just simply returns two. And total number of records here are one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 records are there and out of total number of records are 8 total number of records are 8 as we see here but there is a duplication value in terms of uh, Florida and California so they appears only a single time here you can see here yes this is for this So this is the output after the execution of the register statement. And uh, it is a good practice to use count as star or count uh, aggregate function with a single column because column name because it provides you the facility of counting regarding to that column. Otherwise, some information will be missing here, as we can see that the, in terms of the employee name. Next is a count function with having an order by clause. As you know that when we want to put a condition with having clause, then uh, this condition should relate to the group by group by clause. So if there is a condition against any group, then we use having clause. 
and auto by clause is basically used to arrange the data in ascending or descending order so let us check here here select employee name employee as in count and then from employee and then group by group by according to the employee age and here condition on the group is count asterisk star asterisk um, greater than equal to 2 and order by count star so it means that order by count star means first of all the count, uh, counting it uh, always uh, is in ascending order because uh, by default uh, order by clause uh, data will be in ascending order and uh, count according to only those data who have value greater than or equal to 2 so that is the result here you can see that 2 to 3 k okay. order by count statistic employee age 40 two counts are there employee age 35 two counts are there employee age 32 three counts are there just put another thing and this is complete before semicolon line just write desc then the answer will be correct desc means decreasing order otherwise answer will be increasing order three comes first after then two and after then so just try it on a computer that uh, without DSC or with DSC what happens and here only those will be counted who have greater than equal to any two so this is a uh, having clause here three important things first of all count test so it will basically count the total number of records second important thing is here there is a group and this group is against employee age and third is condition having condition always used with the group by clause and if there is a condition on group then it must be mentioned with having clause so there is a having clause and it says that uh, you count here only when star is greater than or equal to 2 when the marking is greater than 2 and then order by count star it is a if you use order by clause then it basically arrange the data data in ascending order by default but if you just put the esc sign after that dsc symbol after that a keyword after that then it shows your record in descending order so that is the answer Out. query so now we can summarize it as first of all aggregate functions are those functions where the values multiple rows are grouped together to form a single summary values and there are basically five aggregate functions count is one of the one of them and it is very important count can be used in three different ways count star expression and distinct if you want to put uh, all values whether it is null or not then just write count as star and then if you want to put only or if you want to count only non no not null values then just write expression within the parentheses of count function and if you want to just know to distinct value or different values and duplicate value you don't want to allow duplicate values then just write distinct function then next uh, is a count function next uh, is the use of count function here so count function mostly used with group by clause here and if you want to put a alternative name to the function name okay, because by default uh, whatever you write whatever you write uh, within the whatever you write uh, we select a statement it appears as it is and if you want to give alternative name just write as and then name of the column which you want to show any result and uh, third important thing is that uh, count function is also used with the group by clause and with group by clause if there is a condition then counting will be done according to that condition and if there are order by clause then uh, this will show your data either in ascending or descending order so i hope uh, now this concept is quite clear to all of you first of all make a table 
in MySQL and you can take different or multiple name even the not null not null values and just apply all this concept then the concept will be quite clear to all of you and you will easily differentiate that how count functions works in different circumstances or different with different conditions thank you for watching this